Casey Gray here from The Conscious Builder, and if you have been following us, you know that we love doing buildings that are different, and I'm standing on a site right now where there are going to be numerous natural buildings. Today we're talking about the main home though. It's going to have a no-foam ICF block made by Nextcam. It's going to have a 14-inch straw bale wall and a 10-inch dense pack cellulose wall. We're going to be talking about the footings specifically today and the fast foot product that we use to form them. So this is the main footprint of the building. It's going to be about 1500 square feet inside dimensions. The outside footprint will be larger because the walls are quite a bit thicker than your typical home and what you're looking at now is the the footings you'll see that a lot of them are set higher than what we would typically do the team had to work with the height of the septic and they also had to work with the amount of next cam that was already on site so the bedrock set the base and then from there the team set the height of the footings and then that will work out to the proper height for the foundation wall to make the septic work with the home So this wall here is south facing and it's got a curve to it. The homeowners are gonna do a, the 14 inch straw bale wall here. There's gonna be a deck above this and then solar panels that face south as well. Typical footings require a lot of lumber when you get into doing something that's this deep. So you might have a thicker like two by eight or two by 10, um, but when you have to get into something that's thicker or following an uneven ground, you get into lots of plywood and just navigating the uneven ground building steps around the uneven ground because we're dealing with bedrock here. What the fast foot did is help us work with the uneven ground and not have to worry about any concrete leaking out anywhere. So you can see the way it's formed up is you put a two by four up top, which we will reuse for bracing later. And then you wrap the bag around it, put all of your rebar in it and put your pieces of plywood up top to hold the top in place. And all of the concrete gets poured into that and we'll bow out a little bit at the bottom so you have a little bit wider footing but then you have the top set exactly where you want it at the width that you need. Overall, the pour went really well today. We had one little leak where we had a lap in the material, so it wasn't a blowout or anything, so I'm very happy with how everything went. Some of the benefits are it is quicker to work with, especially when you're dealing with an uneven surface like we were here on site. Uh, it also uses a lot less material, which means you have a lot less material to strip once the concrete has set. The bag holds in moisture too, so if you're working in a very hot climate, the moisture won't be released too quickly so it'll cure a lot better and lastly the moisture won't come into the footing if you didn't have anything so which can be an issue in some cases where you have that moisture wicking up through the footing if you are in ottawa or know somebody in ottawa who's looking to renovate or build a custom home we have a referral program set up we've been looking for a way to do this for some time and we finally have a solution so if you're looking to make some extra cash you can head to theconsciousbuilder.com referral to learn more about that until next time, I'm Casey Gray, and remember to live consciously.